Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to solve an example related to the vertical curve. We have solved one example related to the vertical curve, but in that example, the type of vertical curve was crust or summit curve. But today we are going to solve an example related to the sag or valley curve. So this is the statement of the example that we want to solve, where we can see that there are two grades are given, G1 and G2. G1 is negative and G2 is positive. So negative gradient meeting with a positive gradient, hence the type of curve would be a sag or valley curve. We are being given with the station and elevation of the vertex point. We are also being given that the type of vertical curve is equal tangent parabolic curve having length of 240 meter. And it is being asked to determine and tabulate the curve for stacking at 40 meter increments. So we have to determine all those points on a vertical curve using the parabolic equation that we have learned in our previous videos. So we have G1 negative gradient and downward gradient having magnitude of minus 3.629% and this negative gradient is meeting with a positive gradient G2 of 0.15%. So we know that the point of intersection of the gradient is called vertex. So at vertex we are being given with the stationary. Stationing is 5 plus 265 and elevation at the vertex is 350.52 meters. Now we have to determine or we have to stake out this vertical curve at 40 meter increments so far that we need to have the basics of a vertical curve we have been given that this is an equal tangent parabolic curve therefore we will be having the beginning and end point of the vertical curve exactly half of the length of vertical curve from the vertex so let's say that we are going to have bvc the beginning point of the vertical curve exactly at a distance of half of the length which is 120 meter so recalling the basics let's say we are having the x-axis and y-axis so we are being given with the elevation at this point but we have to determine the elevation of the vertical curve throughout the curve so if this is the beginning point of the vertical curve exactly at a distance of 120 meter from vertex we are going to have the end point of vertical curve so this will be the end point of the vertical curve now using the formula that we have derived in our previous videos for determination of the elevation of different points on the vertical curve where YBVC is the reduced level of the beginning point of the vertical curve G1 we know X is the distance up to which we want to find out the elevation of any point which is x distance away from the origin or you can say x distance away from bbc r is the rate of change of gradient with respect to length it is being asked to determine the elevation of the vertical curve at exactly 40 meter increments so the total distance from here or you can say from origin up to the vc point is the length of the curve which is 240 meter so this 240 meter will be divided into 40 increments and on those increments we are going to have the reduced level using this formula so we have to tabulate all the calculations so for that we should be knowing the stationing at bvc and also the reduced level at the bvc so stationing can easily be calculated so stationing at uh, bvc would be equal to stationing at the vertex which is 5 plus 265 meters since we are moving backward so we need to deduct the value of 120 meter from the stationing of the vertex to have the stationing of the bvc so on subtracting this we are going to have the stationing at bvc as 5 plus 145 Similarly, we can have the stationing at EVC as the stationing at vertex, which is 5 plus 265. Now, instead of minus, we are going to have plus because now we are moving forward. So, plus 120. So, adding them, we are going to have the stationing at EVC as 5 plus 385, which is the stationing at EVC. Now, how about the elevations? So, elevation for the BBC can be calculated using the gradient formula we have the horizontal distance so this vertical distance can be calculated so we have this vertical distance so this distance which we know and let's say that this x-axis is the data or you can say origin so this distance is uh, 350.52 
meters so we need to determine this distance obviously this is not according to scale so this distance will be horizontal distance multiplied by the gradient which is 3.629 so this is in percentage so this should be converted into decimals by dividing in 200 then we are going to have this vertical distance as 4.355 so therefore the elevation or you can say the reduced level of pvc is the addition of 350.52 plus the this distance which is 4.355 so adding these two we are going to have the elevation of pvc as 354.875 meters now we have all the basic data for the determination of the elevation of different points on the vertical curve. Now let's move on for the tabulation to have the curve elevation at 40 meter increments. So let's start with the BVC. So at BVC we have stationing of 5 plus 145. So 5 plus 145. As this is the starting point of the curve so we are having zero value of x the elevation of pvc that we have calculated which is 354.875 now g1x will be zero because the value of x is zero r x square over 2 will also be zero because of zero value of x therefore the curve elevation where you can see curve elevation is you calculated using this formula where you can see all these three values will be added together to have the curve elevation so on adding these three obviously uh, we have zero value of g1x and zero value of rx square by 2 so we are going to have the same curve elevation as that of the elevation of the start point because obviously this is the start point of the curve so all this elevation is in meter all the value of x is in also meter now the next station would be exactly 40 meter away so on adding 40 with this stationing we are going to have the stationing of 5 plus 185 and this stationing will be exactly 40 meter away from the start point therefore 40 bvc will remain same because this is the elevation of the start point now for the value of g1x we need to multiply the gradient of g1 with the x distance which is 40 in this case so on multiplying we are going to have the value as minus 1.4516 now how about rx square by 2 we don't have the value of r yet so r is being calculated as g2 minus g1 divided by l if you don't have the concept of the value of r you can refer to my previous video now putting the value of the gradients and length of curve we are going to have the value of r as since we will have the negative value of g1 so this negative and negative will become positive so the value of r would be 1.575 into 10 raised to power minus 4 so now the value of rx square by 2 would be 0 0.12 six now for the curve elevation we have this formula where we need to add y we see g1x and rx square by 2 so adding these three terms we are going to have curve elevation at this station as 353.545 now you can see that the curve elevation for this point for this station is lesser than that of the previous station hence we can say that we are moving downward the curve elevations because this is a sag curve now for the respective stations which will be exactly 40 meter away from the previous station therefore the stationing of the respective station will be we have previously calculated the stationing of EVC which was same as this one therefore this point is EVC the end point of the vertical curve and this is the same as that of the stationing of the beginning point of the vertical curve therefore we can say this is BVC and this is EVC now the value of x for the respective station will also be 40 meter away hence 80 meter 120 160 200 and 240 so in the total length is 240 so we are starting at zero distance up to 240 as the length of the vertical curve now you can see that the elevation of the bvc will remain same now for the value of g1x for the respective stations with varying x as 
Now the term Rx squared by 2 for the respective stations will be 0 0.504 and so on. Now for the curve elevation of the respective stations, we'll just be simply adding these three. So the curve elevation for the respective stations will then be Now you can see that we have calculated the curve elevation of the respective points and all those stations are 40 meter away from each other as it was asked to us to determine the elevation at 40 meter stations away. Now you can see that the elevation of VVC is greater than that of all other stations from the sketch though that sketch is not according to scale. I try to mimic what we are going to get. The elevation of the beginning point of vertical curve is highest and the elevation of the end point of the vertical curve is least that you can see here. It means now the curve will be then in a such a way that each of the previous point will have higher elevation than that of the next point. Obviously this will be a parabolic curve. Now we have one check available to check whether our calculations are correct. The check is we can calculate the elevation of the end point of the vertical curve using the elevation of the vertex and the length of the vertical curve because we know the gradient of the G2 and we know the distance between vertex and EVC. So we can calculate the elevation of EVC and we are going to check whether it is same as that we have calculated using this equation. So now check is the elevation of EVC is equal to the elevation of vertex plus the second gradient which is G2 should be multiplied by the half of the length of curve the distance between EVC and vertex. So elevation of the vertex is 350.52 plus G2 which is 0.151 percent multiply by 120. So on doing calculations we come to know that the elevation of the EVC is same as that we have calculated. It means our calculations are correct. So this is how the problem related to the sac curve is being solved to determine the elevation of different stations on the vertical curve using the parabolic formula that we have derived in our previous videos. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in next coming videos. Till then, thank you.